And action. What's up? What's up, guys? This is Bruce from Printavo, Simple Shop Management. Today I'm with Stephen Farrig over at Campus Inc. We're going to be talking about software needed to run your screen printing shop. All right, let's go. There's a lot of apps. I know you use a ton of them. Starting from top to bottom, let's start from the front office. G Suite for business. Okay. Right? You have to use Gmail or something of that nature. I just like G Suite because it's so easy to use. And then everyone has their own company email, Google Drive, all that stuff. Super simple there. Uh, then you have to use Slack. Slack is what we use to communicate with each other. Different channels, you can attach files. Every single employee has a Slack account. When do you determine whether they email something or Slack something? Intercompany messaging is all on Slack. Okay. Um, and so if you just need to ping someone, you're using Slack. Uh, if you need to copy you know, an invoice over, send them a receipt or something, we might be using email. Okay. Email is what we're using to communicate with our customers and our vendors. Got it. So Slack is what we use to communicate. We use TimeStation for our time clocks. Mm -hmm. um, those are on all the iPads. We obviously use Printavo, Simple Shop Management Software, and that's on every device uh, in the shop mm -hmm. uh, all day, every day. We use a tool called Zapier. Zapier connects a bunch of apps together. If we get an order on Shopify, it could ping Printavo and add the customer to our MailChimp which brings two more pieces of software we use. We use Shopify uh, for some of our bigger e-commerce builds, big brands that we're managing. And then we use MailChimp just for sending out emails to our customers. On top of that, what else am I using? What about the review software? You were just poking around to get um, I built my own on Zapier. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, so basically once the job is done on Printavo, uh, it checks to see that it's in a status. Once it's in that status for four days using Zapier, it sends an email from my personal email asking the customer for a review. Um, so it waits about four or five days just to make sure that the product has been shipped or delivered and then it sends a reminder and that's using a tool like Zapier. What Your website, what do you host that on? Uh, Squarespace. Um, we're moving it over to Shopify but it's really important that you just use a simple, you know, simple website, nothing too crazy, something that site maps well mm -hmm. on Google, has good SEO. Um, nothing too crazy. What about your phone system? Phone system, we use Ring Central. Okay. Uh, voice over IP, apps on all the, the computers, and then it's really good for you know having different numbers and, and, and trees and all that. We use Asana for project management. Um, I use that with my management team to know exactly what projects we're working on, um, but my team also uses Trello for their own daily task lists. Loom is what we use to record videos, mm -hmm. uh, so when we're sending out tutorials to either our students, we're using Loom there to record videos or sending it to our customers. So you record all the videos of how to do everything and then you put them on where? Yeah, so they might go on a Printavo status to send it to a student, say mm -hmm. they don't know how to convert fonts to outlines, mm -hmm. we will create a loom, um, put the link in a status, and it'll trigger to the student every time they've got a font issue. Gotcha. Um, so we'll make different tutorials there. Obviously we're using the whole Adobe suite, um, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop. We use Corel Draw to cut um, for our vinyl cutter. And we're using the Roland um, packages for VersaWorks. We're using the Epson um, packages for our direct garment printing. Really like we're open to using just about everything. There's even like different things that I have like MailTrack which tells you if a customer has opened an email or not. And that's just something where you know I can see, like, have, has the customer actually opened it? Uh, we just started using a tool called Close.io as a CRM. This manages customers better, relationships, opportunities, um, funnels, things like that. We use like ShipStation or Stamps to do all of our shipping, QuickBooks uh, to do our accounting, Stripe to do our credit card processing, Square for our on-site credit card processing, Instagram, Facebook, uh, started a Pinterest, started a Visco. I think that's it. That's awesome. There's a lot, there's a huge tree. We'll drop a link in below so you guys can see a whole list of all those so you can try them out and get going on them and we'll give some more tutorials as well. Mm -hmm.